I work in a school that is um, very poverty stricken and um, our kids have not had the opportunities that many other children have. Um, most of them are migrants or refugees that come to our school. And we discovered about four years ago that the way that we were teaching them was not meeting their needs. And so in order to meet that promise of public education, um, we decided to make some changes and we um, began doing some research and we found um, STEM and we decided that that would better meet the needs of our kids so that we could level the playing field. When we got the grant, we were able to purchase supplies and um, technology pieces so that we could um, kind of amp up our, our STEM projects where they would um, I don't know, meet the expectations that we were hoping for, they would really build them up. And um, so that has been really exciting. We really have things in our school that they have never seen or touched before. Um, we've made additional changes this year where we have added a 30 minute elective block in our day. And so kids from second grade on um, choose all kinds of different activities. They can be in production, they can be in um, coding or robotics. Um, we actually kind of focused more on STEAM because we wanted to make sure they had the arts element in our school. So we also have, for the first time, we're trying a musical, um, which includes, we're asking the kids to um, create the costumes, create the set, create the lighting. They will do all of that, bring in that engineering piece. Like I said, our school um, kind of had a bad rap for a long time, and so with us being able to purchase some of this equipment and bring STEM into the school, um, we have been able to double our science scores with the state testing. So it is really, it really is helping us to level that playing field because they are building confidence and they are having access to technology and tools that they didn't have access to before because we couldn't afford it and their families couldn't afford for them to participate in STEM camps or you know, those kind of activities that some of the more affluent schools can send their kids to. Because of the NEA Foundation, we had a big STEM symposium of our own in the spring last year and it was the first time that our kids were invited to something like that. And they just shone, they, they shine so bright and we're so excited to share what they learned.